What's up? I'm Alessia Cara, and you're tuned to B-Boy 45. Check out Alessia Cara's super fun visit to our Sequest studio in Colorado. Yeah. Thank you. What's your favorite part of touring and, like, favorite place that you've been to so far? Just seeing everyone in the audience enjoy themselves, I think that's, like, one of the best parts. Best place? I was in Nice, France recently, um, and that's, like, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to, and Barcelona. What's your favorite Snapchat filter? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I like the one with the, like, the butterflies, the yellow, like, butterflies on your head. That one makes you look, like, so cool. What's your favorite song to perform live? Here, of course, is always a favorite because everyone gets really excited. I like doing wild things, too, because now I get to play a bit of drums in it. If you were to combine two animals, what would you combine and what would you call them? That's a good question. Could I make it like a dog, chimp, koala sloth? And let's call it a, a slawala dimp. <laughs> what was your inspiration for Scars to Your Beautiful? I think a lot of the times the media or the world just kind of tells us that we have to look one way all the time. And I think, of course, that that's so wrong. And I wanted to make a song to remind all human beings all over the world that you are beautiful no matter what anyone tells you. And I hope that everyone who listens can take something positive from it and, um, you know, just remember that you're beautiful no matter what. If your face was on the front of a quarter, what would you want them to put on the back? I could put my logo on the back. My logo is like this girl with a beanie over her eyes. So maybe I'd put that on the back. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? And what would your superhero name be? Teleporting would be awesome because I could just snap my fingers and be somewhere. Maybe I'd call myself Beanie Girl. If you had a gift card to any store in the world, where would you go? Best Buy or Apple Store or something like that. That way I could just buy all the cool little gadgets and things. Um, or maybe like Toys R Us. Just buy toys. <laughs> We actually have a super cool game. Would you like to play with us? Yes. So it's called yes. Backwards Forwards. Alessia Cara Wild. <laughs> no way, that's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Sounds like I'm speaking another language, like Martian, <laughs> alien. It's kind of like a different language. Yeah. And let's see how close you got to Alessia Cara Wild. Okay. Alessia Cara Wild. Woo. Right. Okay, okay. Job, I heard yeah. Alessia Carr in there. How did you get involved in Seacrest Studios? And will you give us a shout out at your concert tonight? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, yeah, for sure. I think the first one I went to was either Boston or Philly. It's such an amazing thing what you guys are doing here. And the fact that you're able to ask such awesome questions and, and be a part of it is like so cool. So thank you for being awesome. And uh, of course, I'll give you a shout out. I definitely will. I'm going to write it on my hand so I remember. Shout out to all of the kids at the Colorado Children's Hospital who are not here today. Um, they were just the nicest kids in the entire world, and I wanted to say hello to them. Uh, thank you for coming to the show. For those who couldn't make it, and if you're watching, I don't know if this is on the internet or something, you're amazing. What's your favorite dessert? Chocolate cake or tiramisu. There's like an ice cream flavor of that, and that's my favorite. If you could guest star on any TV show, which one would it be? Friends, which is my favorite show. It's not on anymore. I would use my Beanie Girl superhero skills to teleport and go back in time, be on the show, and then eat chocolate cake also. <laughs> if you could collaborate with any artist on a song, who would it be? One of my top favorite artists is Ed Sheeran. Has he been here before? Yes. Ah, oh, lucky. Do you have any advice for the kids here in the hospital? Oftentimes we, we like to think we need a change for the world. I struggled with, with this a lot and sometimes I still do. I just always think that all my weird qualities and my strange qualities are what makes me not good enough or not cool. But I think, in fact, they're what make you awesome. So if there's anything that may seem different about you or something that you may not necessarily like or is not the traditional thing, I think you should embrace that and those are the things that make you so amazing and so great. Thank you, Alessia. We think you are amazing too.